Hi guys, uh, another tutorial on MATLAB and using the toolboxes in MATLAB. Uh, today we're going to be focusing on the RVC tools, uh, mainly the robot, the robot side of things. Um, so let's get started. Uh, most of today's tutorial is based on, or you can read through chapter 7 of Peter Cork's book. Uh, it'll explain a lot of what I'm explaining to you with a little bit more maths in there uh, on how to set up a robot in MATLAB. Uh, so there's two main tools for doing this uh, in his toolbox. There is the link tool, uh, capital L, I N K, uh, open closed brackets. That's essentially creating a loop. Oh, sorry, uh, I've got to start up his toolbox first. Um, RVC. All right, so link. Link or create a link. All right, so these are your DH parameters. You will, will or will, no, you will learn about these or you have learned about these. Uh, AD, um, oh, so th sorry, theta, D, A, alpha. Uh, there's a whole lot more parameters behind a link than those. All right, so link is the first way to start building your robot. So you enter in each link of your robot. So in our case, we're only building a two link robot. Uh, the first link will look exactly like this actually, um, because there is no offset, there's, uh, it revolutes around zero, uh, all that. Uh, so to create anything useful out of link, uh, you've got to save it in a variable uh, say normally just use like L or something like that. Uh, the good thing about Peter Toolbox, it's object orientated. Um, so I'll just show you L is equal to link. That will create the exact same thing I created before without putting any parameters in. Uh, but it'll store it in L. So L is now equal to that. Um, so if you want to look up L's properties, uh, just type in L dot A. So that'll look up its A value, returns a zero. Uh, you can do that for any of the values in there. Um, so we can look at that. Uh, another good way to know what you can put into a link is just type help uh, link. Uh, and the help file comes up. has a lot of stuff. Uh, these are your methods. So these are creating stuff. There's actual functions you can, uh, that are based upon the link itself. Um, the transforms, uh, the force, friction. You can add friction and stuff uh, to your link joint. Uh, it's pretty advanced stuff. These are the main ones that you're going to be taking care of. Bas basically, you got to You'll learn about these, but you've got to set these parameters up. You can do that with your DH parameters, or you can do that later by saying L dot A or L dot whatever is equal to. Um, it will change that. Uh, the next thing I want to show you about links is that you can put two. So your links, you can have a, a matrix as such of links. So L R2, remembering that MATLAB indexes from 1, is equal to... Um, link. Uh, we'll just fill it with ones to just for practical sake. Uh, um, importantly, dh parameters, the four of them there, uh, the fifth number in here, sorry, those four will set up your robot. Uh, they correspond to these guys. Um, and then the last one is sigma. Sigma uh, tells MATLAB whether it's a revolute or a prismatic. So if it's one, it's prismatic. If it's zero, it's revolute. So we'll just go ahead and make this link. Uh, and now we have L. It has two links associated with it. So link one, link two. This is important later on down the track when it comes to building your robot using the next, the next uh, tool that I want to show you, and that's serial link. Serial link 
essentially gets all these links that you've built and you've set up all your parameters and everything for these links um, and it builds it into a robot that we can do functions on we can do maths on joint velocities joint angles uh, everything there's everything in this toolbox to take care of that so I'll show you that uh, again help uh, serial link uh, capital S capital L hit enter and we get all of our properties and methods for serial link um, properties being down here you can just change the name where the base is in space um, gravity uh, if you <laughs> if you want to do stuff in space or anything else like that there's, there's some pretty cool stuff here um, and then firstly these these are the important parts of serial link that you guys will be using so think of serial link as a way to build a robot and learn what it's going to do before you actually make it do something in real life um, and then you can transfer the maths created by these functions um, mainly this guy here inverse kinematics uh, you can also do forward kinematics uh, these guys apply to more than two links um, Jacobians are pretty important as well uh, we'll be using some of these I'll just show you this plot and teach function here plot is a visual way of learning what your robot's going to do teach is a visual way of inputting methods to see what your robot will do what it looks like um, and I'll show you that in a moment so now that we know all about this have a read through and uh, as I said it's all outlined in chapter 7 in Peter's book have a good read it's worth it it's a good chapter to read uh, uh, for some reason that entered into my workspace so now uh, if we want to build our robot let's just call it R for the time being capital R is equal to uh, serial link and then we input a variable L uh, or our links L into serial link and we will create a robot from that so that's our robot there so it's a two axis revolute prismatic that's what that stands for uh, using standard DH parameters this is what our links look like uh, gravity uh, a base in space and our tool point in space all right so to uh, plot this this robot your r.plot function and then you have to input your joint variables in a matrix uh, as shown here this is just a simple example it doesn't really make sense but uh, I'll just show you what it does so this is the robot we built. Uh, the first joint angle is zero and the distance of the first one is one, one meter. This, this uh, works out to be, so uh, that's a little bit expensive. Try and keep everything in uh, decimal form, I guess. Uh, or you can stick with whatever you like. So if you want to say one is equal to one millimeter or 0 0.001 is one millimeter, I believe that's right, uh, go with that. So enter and that's your robot in 3D space um, so the Z is equal to zero uh, Z axis there's obviously or well, there is in this robot but there won't be in your guys robot because of the way I set up the prismatic uh, it goes off at an angle uh, you can rotate around you can see what's going on with your robot in 3D space you can change those joints um, and yeah you can you can examine what your robots gonna do and what it'll look like 